moments away for Miami and Auburn. Before we get to tip, we go to Tracy. Jim, a scary collision on Friday. Walker Kessler's elbow knocked into Jalen Williams. Two front teeth shipping them. Now, Walker Kessler's okay. He had two stitches. He's wearing a sleeve on the elbow. He will play. Jalen Williams needed a lot of dental work, and I'm glad to report his teeth look perfectly new. Now, he did have to go through concussion protocol. He has cleared the protocols, and he is good to go as well. Thank you, Trace. Good to see him smiling. That was a nasty collision between those teammates and let's take a look at the lineups on top you see the Hurricanes we had a peek at them a moment ago and all that age Isaiah Wong in both halves the other night against USC he got off to big starts their first 13 points of the first half their first eight points of the second half he scored and then we talked about Jabari for Bruce Pearl and the Auburn Tigers at 28 and 5 on the year. The outright regular season champions of the SEC. And this program right now is all systems go. Uh, they've been just phenomenal, particularly at home, as we know. A tough out. And of course, Coach L, a keeper. Every place he's gone, he's been successful. Well, just uh, a week ago at the ACC tournament, Coach Larinaga became Miami's winningest coach. Now with 224 wins. Gaffney, Driscoll, and Jarrett will officiate. Uh, Jimmy's done a really good job in the portal, getting guys that recognize his program, his success, come in, and they, they have meshed. And it belongs to the Tigers, Raph, to get it started. And Jim Nance, Grant Hill, maybe goes a little, anyway. Right away from Miami, Jordan Miller taking the challenge. Trying to guard Jabari Smith. That's a violation because it touched Jasper last. It did not touch Moore, so a turnover committed by Miami. They didn't commit many. In the game against USC, they had a season low only three for the game. Got to be careful, Miami. They have sticky fingers on defense. Meanwhile, Auburn on a turnover side, giving it up the very first time. Let's see. Again, that's going to be key for the Hurricanes to play a clean game like they did the other day. Nice pump. Doesn't matter. Kessler. Kessler fella. Oh. He knows how to do that, Raph. He is tough. Great timing, great sense of which hand to use. Seldom reaches across the guy's arm. Locks with the left hand. And that Bill Russell, by the way. That's a great. Oh, oh look out. How about that one? Yes. He's going to cut to the rim. Jordan Miller and the Hurricanes with a little statement the first time down the floor. And Aaron Hager was raving about him, his, his ability on the glass. Nice denial. Hey, they come away about that. Back to back times, they make stops. Moore wanted to fire it, going to drive it instead. Tough shot. Tapped around off the floor with it, and it's Miami. McGusty. He's our leading scorer. A little unsettled here for a moment, but now they control things. And that drops again. It's Miller. And Miller coming to play here, getting a that steal. Tip dunk, alley oop dunk, you jump shot. Call, you might call it Miller time. Miller time. Auburn's barely got it into the front court the first two times. Nice little trap. And Kessler left alone. And that's going to be Bethesda, oh. I think, got him first. Well, I think Warnberg got hurt. Holding on to his thumb. Uh, just. Terrific play on the other end, but right here, just that little 10 footer, tough. Ready to come out and challenge too far from the rim, Walker. Wardenberg, who came up big against the Trojans on Friday afternoon with four blocks, season high. Here's Kessler, though. He's a handful. Wardenberg's holding that thumb or finger. He's stretching it, must have caught it in there. Kessler hits the both. Well, he looks so comfortable in their offense and defense, obviously. So comfortable on the perimeter as yeah. well. Yeah. Miami plays a lot of minutes with these guys. Miller. Well, he hit the first two shots, not this time. Long rebound to Flanagan. Johnson. He's not shy. No, he's, he's uh, <laughs> a, a, a good pass. He's the life of this team, Auburn. 
Casper stuck for a moment. And yeah, nobody flashed. And Jabari loves this mid post. Off on the shot. Moore takes. All the way into the front court before he gives it up. Yeah, Charlie's been making a lot of plays. Looking for others. Like right there. He really passes up shot. Well, not a good foul there. And so wise, though. Smart by Moore. Yeah, yeah he knew he was behind. Get in the way of the big fella, draw a foul. Crafty and Spurl. Not happy about that. Yeah, worked up early. <laughs> I think he's always worked oh, up. Oh, he's an energized individual. Yeah. Yeah. No, there he is. no shortage of energy. He's got to be a little more enthusiastic. Miller, great shot. Smart. Smart. Kessler, Smart. Kessler, go ahead, Kessler. Freeze hack. Already has one foul. Maybe pick up another. See if some of that energy can go to his team. And Smith, look at Moore helping out. Drops down and steals it. Great break. No look pass. McCusty. That's a two, and it goes. And that's a good sign right there. He struggled in that last game they played, hitting jump shots. Yeah, it was only five out of 18 in that game, Grant, to your point. So that's a big one to get started, his first attempt. We'll take tough ones and make them. Well, nice block. block. How about that? But both ends of the floor. Miller's been terrific. In transition, this is where they thrive. They are so efficient, the most efficient transition offensive team. And that is not an easy shot, but he has made that all season in the ACC. Loves that mid-range off the bounce. Doesn't matter if he's contested. Very efficient from Augusta. Hurricane followers will tell you, had one of the best seasons ever. They've seen it in Miami. The senior out of Katy, who averaged 18 a game and was first team all ACC. Now, this small ball really makes teams very uncomfortable. Have to guard in strange spots on the floor. Again, a double. Smith gets it to the far side to Flanagan. The runner. How about that? Mm, pretty. The kiss. Get him with that stroke going a little bit. It's a different kind of a team. He could be an X factor. Very much so in this tournament. Still working his way back health wise. Leading scorer a year ago. Out with an Achilles injury in the first 11 games. Wong. Strong. Turnaround for two. He is a confident driver, isn't he? <laughs> Strong driver. Whew. Smith. A little bit of a settle, huh? That's Kessler second. Reaching over Wardenberg. So that's a big development. Just four minutes in. Hot start for the Hurricanes. Definitely the aggressor early. You don't want to miss the impractical Jokers like you've never seen them before. The Jokers return with a big new episode. Special guest Eric Andre, April 2nd, after NCAA coverage on True TV. Guys, to start the game here, really, it's been the defense enforcing turnovers of Miami. Six points off of three early Auburn turnovers. Miami records a steal on 11% of their opponent's possessions this regular season. And, of course, had 12 steals Friday night against USC. Yeah, pretty impressive, really. You know, they give him a card ball now. Kessler out. It's a little smaller match. He's, he's not the forceful... Defender, obviously, that Kessler is, but uh, plays hard, competes. Buga Poplar on the floor for the Hurricanes. Again, they don't use their bench that much. They don't expect much production from him. Here he is right now. A little matchup, Jim. A little 1-1-3. One, one, pointing. Moore. How about that? Oh, he loves it. All so, nylon from long distance. He's unbelievable. They switched the deep down. It's Bruce who's hollering at the staff because they probably recommend they're going to the zone. <laughs> right now, Auburn has to get Jabari Smith going offensively. And Green, too, hasn't been able to turn the corner. Johnson, nice lost hand. it, tapped out, and it's in the hands of Moore. This is where they're tough, I think. Way up high with it. Tapped out long. Poplar trying to get it. It's Cambridge instead. Green outside Johnson thought about it now we'll drive instead and he'll shoot a couple he is a tough kid <laughs> he really is by mixing it up 
Disdain the three, put it on the deck, cupped it. I think he and Moore are going to do a little woofing today. I just have this feeling. Two shots. Ricket Darius. Call him KD Johnson. Georgia transfer. He really thought about going to Auburn in the first place and ended up after having a good season in Athens, making the move to Auburn. Says primarily because his mom loves Coach Pearl. <laughs> Listen, everybody. Miami really tests your perimeter def defense. Multiple guys can go one on one. But early, it's been a lot of shots from Miller in the half court. Well, Rodenberg hasn't really done much, and he's not making Jabari work on that end of the floor. Miller, three of six. He's missed two from outside. Here's Green, big assist man for them. He put it up on his own. Too strong off the floor is Miller. Moore pushing it up, and will wait. Gusty, very good off the bounce. He knows he's got the size. Threw right over Green. Yeah, mid post up. Nice that. Move. What a move. That's that age factor. Knowledge. You like those guys with experience, Coach. <laughs> Why not? They've been around. They paid their dues. Keep it on the deck. Nobody comes to help at all. Not even a hand hedge until real late. You can't leave Green there on an island giving up that kind of size. Great defender, you've already seen. Absolutely. Johnson, a pass, got it to Jabari. Oh, and it's followed up, could have been offensive. Basket interference. Cambridge on the rim, you might be right. Jabari's got to get going, though. What did you see, Grant? I, I thought it was in the cylinder from this angle. Poplar, that's blocked. Last touch by Auburn. And now AT&T 5G takes us above the rim. Or that play a moment ago. Beautiful pass. And, yep, yeah, right that up. was definitely on the rim. I would assume at the next stop at the play or timeout, they'll review that. Got up and off the mark. That was Anthony Walker. Had a good look. It's a flex offense that they like to run. Wow, Green. It's going to Miami. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device. With NCAA March Madness Live, scan the QR code now to download. And Raph, we talked early at the start of the game about the size advantage that Auburn has, but they have not been able to get into the paint. The defense scrappy, keeping them out on the perimeter, playing the Miami's hands. Yeah, not really attacking. No Kessler. Cambridge and Carmel are the bigs right now. Jabari gets a blow. I don't know where you're going to get their offense from other than the guards. Augusti. And Auburn sweeps it away with Jalen Williams. Got to be the guards here, I think. They really don't have a threat up front. Slow start for the Tigers. Two out of eight. They turn it over four times. Jasper. Settling. And McGusty able to box out Williams. Joseph has come onto the floor. Wong. He's a scorer. McGusty. Nice cut, but a pass. A late. Yeah. That's Walker trying to save it. And it's a tie up, and it stays at this end. Possession to Miami. Auburn in a slumber at the start. The two seed turning it over and watching Miami taking it to the hole. 
During the break, Tracy with a visit with Bruce Pearl. You said the quickness of their guards. You were concerned about that. How do you have to adjust? Uh, we got to do a better job offensively, just take care of the basketball. They turned us over early. We came up with a couple of backdoor looks. We weren't able to execute it. Their ball pressures bothered us. And then on the other end, you know, it's all about one-on-one -on -one closeouts. We're all right. We're OK. I can't. They've got a positive message there in the end as the Blue Devils come out and greet some family members, the Duke delegation off their nine-point victory over Michigan State earlier tonight. The jump shot. And again, Miami off to a great start. That's Anthony Walker putting him back up by nine. Well, no rhythm for Auburn right now. Good shot, though. Tapped right back to him. And Williams. He thought he got hit as well. He may have. Long. Saucy. Oh, oh, look at it. Oh, and he missed. How about that? What a burst, though. Woo. He's so reliable most of the time. Down low, Williams. Switches hands there. Okay, yeah, right. Be nice. He scores back-to-back -back trips. He's going to flash that new smile <laughs> here in a minute. Peps in it. Walker. And now Wong. He is strong going to the rim. Over Williams. Ah, he atones for the miss the last time down the floor. And fearless right there, attacking the big, great composure, not afraid at all. Right now for Auburn, it's been really Jalen Williams. Yeah, not, not much going. On. Any offense. The Miami's so hard to guard. There's nobody in the set. Ooh, the Michelle got away with it. Lanigan wide of the mark with the pass to Williams. And Jabari Smith returns. Jabari Smith. 0 for 4 to start this game, guys. Let's see if right now he hasn't gone to the bench and kind of relax, settle down a bit. He needs to try to get engaged here, but, but give Miami credit. Guarding him tough as Kessler's still on the bench. Yeah, he's been on the bench since the 16 minute mark. The problem with Jabari is in this kind of a game, he's got to guard away from the rim like that. Long. But also, he's got to be in more of a post up attack mode, don't you think? He likes to hover around the yeah. perimeter, but Miami. Very good at guarding him out there. Tap back out. It's Joseph. Ooh, the giveaway at half court. Half Flanagan almost knocked him over. His first. Hey, Bruce really gets into it over there. It's incredible. The spunk and the talent of this kid. Over on TNT, Iowa State up five on Wisconsin with 12 seconds to go. It's all about D when you go to Iowa State. Nice cross. Underneath. Yes. But he missed it. Everything but the shot. And that's Jordan Miller. We had a visit again with all the starters yesterday. Miller anxious for this matchup. And a steal by the Hurricanes. Wong beats it over to Moore. He'll take it inside. That's Williams, Williams who what a giveaway, huh? Was tackled him. How about Moore? Didn't settle right there. Went right at Williams. Smart, savvy, drawing a foul there. And this Miami team not afraid of, of a big team. They nope. saw big teams a lot in the ACC, so they are prepared and ready. They went to this small ball to change their season around. That's Moore off the mark. First points of the game for Jabari. Maybe that'll get him going. Sometimes when you're struggling, just seeing the ball go through the basket, you know, a great player can get you going. Set the Auburn freshman NCAA tournament record with 20 in the game against Jacksonville State. And he had a career high 14 rebounds. Here's McGusty with the three. Tough shot. And switching everything out. So nice hustle by Smith. Able to squeeze it out to Flanagan. Maybe a little spurt coming here for the Tigers. 
Johnson. Wong closed in on quickly. Really not in much motion. A lot of stagnant runs. Jasper. And the box out by Walker. We don't get back. Wong flips it up and in. Oh, what a nice pass by McCusty, too. Might have been fouled, too. Clever at the rim. Johnson. Lanigan on the long rebound. Hey, Wong does compete. The more you watch this kid, always oh, in the mix. But if you don't get back on D, smaller, lighter, faster, able to finish. And he's getting out the open floor. Nice little lead. Why not? Big time strength at the rim. And Big now time. we know the winner will play Iowa State next week in Chicago. Welcome back to Greenville and Coach. You said they need to adjust to us. You've been able to force them to do that. How? Well, we just try to pressure and play our game and, and react to what they're trying to do. Our guys did a good job. Jordan Miller got us off to a great start. And then our defense worked and forced some turnovers. Thanks a lot. Thank you. And again, as we're going to break, it went final. The three seed in this bracket has been knocked out Wisconsin with their Big Ten Player of the Year, Johnny Davis, eliminated by Iowa State in 11. So the winner will play an 11 seed in the regional semifinals. Well, you might say it's a decent run for the Roses. Kessler back in, why not, I guess. Just got to be smart, particularly on the defensive end. Now they missed a short shot with Kessler and a tap in right in front of the basket. And a foul is called against Auburn. I think they'll yo yo Kessler in and out offense. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Foul on Jabari Smith right there, going for that loose ball. They give Kessler an opportunity the offensive end, make sure he doesn't get a foul on this end. That's the first on Jabari Smith. Auburn really hasn't put that full court pressure on. No traps. And, and that's scoring. Yeah, to, to do it, actually. And also, I think the nice back cut. Look at Gusty. Oh, and spins out. What a nice look. He comes right back with the steal. You can see him watching. Made it if they were going to come to Jasper, he was poaching. So you got to keep your wallet and watch <laughs> it around these guys. They got some sticky fingers. They are quick. They don't mind mismatches in the box here. Look at Moore, now they switch back. Five to shoot. That's Jasper. Got it, beautiful jumper. Right now, though, the offense of Auburn just out of sync. Too much one-on-one. -on -one. We saw a lot of ball movement, player movement Friday. Not seeing it here tonight. And usually he goes to that flex offense. We might see more of that. Miller. He's tried three times from the outside. Hasn't made one yet. Been effective inside and makes a nice little deflection right there to keep it away from Jabari Smith. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, the best Coke ever, like the GOAT. Is this fat checked? Well, you can debate the GOATness. Biggest recruit in Auburn history, inbounds. They have been able to contain him. Well, that's a tough turnaround. That's a settle. Now one for six, including missing all three for three. Oh. Miller waits, and that's Smith with the block. Nice job. He's hustling, though. Got made the save yeah. as well. Got the block and the save. Behind the back, Green whistle first, and a charge on Auburn. A little discard on the drive, trying to blow by. Uh, look at the hand, no question about it. You do that in the park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's against a bigger guy. Smith making the play on last possession down the floor for Miami. That's another block. He's exposed that twice. Look at these kids. Green on the floor slides to the save. How about Cardwell sliding his feet there against the guard? This might generate something for Auburn. Yeah, Auburn crowd now urging them on, standing. Nice pass. 
on the blocks. They get it to go with Cambridge. And Smith with that size, a little shuffle cut. Bear at the rip. They're starting to run their offense right now. Yeah, a little bit more construction. Warden Bird. Got it. Nice Back down man. low. Too strong with the short shot. Jabari getting involved a little bit on this end. Pique his interest on this end. Same play. Johnson, little switch off. Got stuck. Nice pass. Hey, green, extra pass. And he was fouled. This little shot fake there by Green. Get more to move and one dribble pull up. Pretty confident kid yesterday, wasn't he? When we oh. sat with him. Yes, he is. He's hit some big shots. Not afraid of the moment. Nope. It's deep threes. We call him logo win. <laughs> <laughs> Two shots. Second round coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship continues tonight across ABC, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU. For more information on game times and listings, go to NCAA.com. There's Eastern Kentucky and didn't recruit them early on. And with this portal, everybody's eligible for poaching. This, this changed the, the entire college basketball game, that portal. And when they saw his name in the portal, Bruce Pearl remembered him as the kid from Detroit. Wendell Green ended up coming from Eastern Kentucky. Yeah, he joined the Tigers. I think he saw him in high school, Jim. Yeah, he did. Just loved them, but they had better players. More. Look at the defense by Williams. McGusty. Nice. Slicing. Walk. Shuffling. And a step violation. First turnover of the game for Miami. They went 15 and a half minutes before committing one. And he, he got banged before he walked, too. That's what happened. Look at Williams sliding his feet against the mismatch. And you're right. A little contact there that caused him maybe to walk on that dribble drive. Where's that flex and a duck hit? Turn. Jumper. Yeah, but break him down. A little chips there. Triple threat. Wasn't on balance either, right no. there. He's had a couple like that. Miller on the baseline. Got it back. They stole it for a second. And he picks up the loose change and scores. His energy impressive. Green, speaking of Ooh. energy. To Smith, sent him to the line. And I like this hustle too. He ran the floor, got position to dominate. Three-point opportunity coming up for the All-America. Back with the Hall of Famers, Grant Hill, Bill Raftery, Tracy Wolfson, 25-22, Miami. And this defense, Jim, has been incredible. Active hands, doing your work early. Right here, Jordan Miller, deny the potential first pick, get out and run, steals. More right here, all AC defensive team showing you why and then making the extra effort. I didn't think anyone could block Jabari Smith's jump shot. Jordan Miller proving me wrong, but that effort, the energy, and the activity on defense is what's helped Miami here in this first half. Miami with five steals and Smith unable to finish off the three-point opportunity. Smith has shown me a lot on this end of the floor though. Slip. Miller got shot off. He said, start of this game. Walk. Nice help by Smith, just a little bit late. Did Great. a good job of getting that uh, elevation and suspending long enough to get off the jumper over Smith. Well, he's a button down kid, as we know, right? From his mom's edicts. Big time. Smith. Every shot. Yeah. Miller right in his grill. And he's moving too, never getting squared up. I'd like to see him catch it and maybe take a 
one or two dribbles towards the basket. Absolutely. Auburn is 0 for 7 from 3. Smith's missed four of them. Mm -hmm. We got a 1 and 1 coming up. That was the seventh team foul. Auburn, Auburn on Cambridge, his first. Because that guy in the bench is such a deterrent. You know, they can get after you on the perimeter. You got Kessler doing such a good job all during this year. One and one. With a little general of the Hurricanes, he's something else. With personality. He is. A great smile. And Auburn just has to get out of this half these last three minutes. Keep it close. Maybe make a little run here. Obviously, Kessler on the bench. So valuable to their defense and the presence offensively at the rim. Cash is in on both. Back to seven. And again, Kessler for just joining us. Two fouls in the first four minutes. So this Miami team plays loose. And they get after you on this end of the floor. Williams. How about that? Oh, oh, what, what a, a nice start. Start. Yeah. How about that? Miller. Williams held him up outside. So it'll send Miller to the line for a one on one also. Williams, he hit two three pointers yet, excuse me, on Friday before he had that injury, but great find by Green and great confidence by Williams to knock it down from the corner. 14th of the year. Lefty. One one. Coming up AT&T at the half. Get you caught up on what's happening elsewhere in the tournament. Highlights, updates coming up AT&T at the half. I'll tell you, this first half, Jordan Miller might, might be the best player on the court. With MVP, what he's, right? What he's been doing on both ends. So we're meeting with him yesterday. We say, who's going to take on Smith? He says, I will. And he said, I'm ready. There's Green. No one cut him off. And he's ready, too. Blow by by the little guy. He's crossover to get to the left side of the rim. Long splits. Here he goes. Oh, my goodness! Right back at Jabari, who did that to Jacksonville State on Friday. Is that was answer. better than Spence. Yeah, it's got Don't you be. think? Oh, without a doubt. But a six foot ten. Showed me something right there. Oh, my goodness. You got something for your dormitory room. Wow. You take it. Oh, your man. Specialty. I love March Madness posters. And Wong going strong to the rim <laughs> with authority. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. Talk about strength. Yeah, so the winner of that game, Texas Tech, with that three-point lead, will face Duke in San Francisco in the regional semifinal Sweet 16 matchup on Thursday. I just can't believe Wisconsin had 17 turnovers. It's amazing. They value the ball so well. Such a good shooting team. And as Jim mentioned, Davis, terrific year. How about this guy? Goodness. Get him a commercial. That smile. He's hit two threes from opposite corners. Been a big boost off the bench. He leads Auburn with 10. Long. Already gave a little taste of what he could do, and Smith says, no, not this time. He returned, huh? Five to shoot. He turns the compliment. Long. One to shoot. Got it away in time. He is a tough, undersized kid at the rim. Auburn trying to make up what at one time was a nine point deficit. Look, they got Smith inside now. Green with a little hook shot. A little like raftery right there, old school. Yeah. And Xavier Simpson, they got a timeout now. Jim Laranaga not letting this kind of a close. Well, Auburn with a late rally here in the first half, coach. Uh, nobody to prevent. Uh, at the rim here, we're talking about how small Miami is. The lockup, Charlie's not going to block that shot, but that's a little Xavier Simpson out of Michigan a couple of years ago. With that finish, very impressive in the lane. Auburn's bench contributing 20 of their 32 points. 
And a lot of it's been Jalen Williams, what he has done. Started last season for Auburn, stepped aside for Jabari Smith, sacrificed for the team, and now when they need him the most here, stepping up big. Once again, they're going to the little zone look. They got burned on a deep shot. Keep, keep an awareness for the shooters, particularly Moore. He loves to split. They got to walk. Oh, they get a little. It's Katie Johnson. Says, yeah. And Moore got in the middle of it with Smith as well. It's just the second turnover on Miami. I think KD loves to get under your skin a little bit. Oh, too, don't you? His nickname is the Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> he's at his best when he's yapping. Yeah. Now, Miami has fouls to get here with 32 seconds to go. Only four team fouls. Well, the only problem, they don't want to get any. They play so many minutes, it's tough to get the foul. I'm thinking of later. Yeah, they did bring Poplar in. Yeah, yeah he, he, Luga. He, Luga could. Perhaps burn one. We'll right. see. There's Green. I would rather a post up right now. I thought they were going to have a ball screen and a roll. A 1 4 set. Getting pressure from the all ACC defender. And Charlie Moore just forcing it one way. Flanagan to the corner. Johnson. Johnson shot off. Smith doesn't get a touch. They go the opposite of him. They're going to jump ball, possession arrow. Goes Same. to Auburn, yes. Got a lob situation here. They got some guys that could do something where they might want to bring Kessler in. Just park Kessler right under the basket and yeah. maybe throw it right to the rim. Let him try to tip it in. Maybe, maybe just a little bit of a cross screen and lob. Flanagan to inbound. Smith got it away in time. It's a no go. And it's a one point halftime lead for Miami. Auburn closes on a 10 4 run. Miami led by Long with 10, Miller with 10. Tracy, over to you. Eight steals in that first half, and then their de your defense was really going well, but how did they get back in it? Yeah, and they played better. They quit turning the ball over. Oh, they're a great team. There's a reason they're number two in the uh, uh, in their seed and one of the best teams in the country. We just got to keep playing our own game, not worry about them. We got to make them worry about us. Any reaction on the Wong dunk? On the what? On the dunk. Which one? On Jabari Smith, Isaiah. Oh, oh yeah, on, on Zay's dunk. Yeah, that was nice. I like more of those. <laughs> That's great. He is locked in. His team has not trailed in this first half. But leading by one, at one time it was nine. Miami 33, Auburn 32. We'll send you to AT&T at the half. After these messages, you're watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. There it is. Miami and Auburn with the winner to head to Chicago in the Sweet 16. Here's a look at the degree first half stats only two turnovers committed by Miami. But a nine point lead trimmed to one at the end of that half so Miami has never trailed on this thing but they saw their lead diminish. Yeah, Auburn's lucky that they're only down one here. Mm -hmm. uh, Walker Kessler only played four minutes in the first half. Let's see if he can be Walker Kessler in the second half having an impact on the floor and Jabari Smith two for ten. I mean taking a lot of tough shots but. This Miami team, we always talk about small, having a dribble drive. They can guard. They get after you. They don't back off. Been their calling card all season long. Trace? Well, Jim, Bruce Pearl said, all things considered, eight turnovers, Kessler on the bench, most of the game, but just down one. He said they can't let their ball pressure disrupt them like they did in the first half. Their quickness definitely got to them early, but he felt like they adjusted. As for Jabari Smith, two for ten. He said he didn't play well, but Jalen Williams did. Their bench was big in that first half. Yeah, came season. up with 20 of their 32. Thank you, Trace. Here's McGusty. Ooh. Over Kessler, blocked it. He's running the play. Well, I guess they smart not giving it up. Kessler lucky he didn't pick up his third. Yeah, it was close. Test. Got in the hand a little. See if they start pounding it inside a little bit. Here goes Kessler. 
too strong with the shot. Wong. Split. Back out. Moore. Over Smith. Definitely influenced by Smith's arm. But Wong can really put it on the deck and get there, can he? Covers a lot of distance on each dribble. Yeah. With that missed three. Miami now for the game, just one out of nine for three. And they are using very effective in that area. Here's Johnson. We'll give it up to Kessler. No whistle. As he gets it back and puts it up with the left hand. Two close range shots and another one blocked. Oh, the two All Americas denied three times underneath. Wong, meanwhile. <laughs> he was, he was trying awesome. to do another hammer. But how about the interior presence defensively? Multiple blocks on that possession. You saw Friday, Wardenburg had, I, I believe, four blocks in that game. And came up big there defensively. Season, season high for him in that game against USC. He would never believe that Kessler and Smith could, between the two of them, miss three shots from a foot away. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, Kessler didn't have his legs at all with the bodies around him. Uh, didn't explode and finish the deal. Long, got them both. Leads the hurricane attack with 12. Smith, again settling. Now 0 for 5 for 3. McGusty. Turn around. That's his game. And he he won't settle at all. He's in attack tough. mode. Not afraid. He likes to make those difficult shots. Makes him look easy. Kessler again underneath. Can't get him to go. Can't buy one underneath. Uh, Big Sam just bodying him out a little bit. Bounce pass. McGusty waits. How about that? And converts. Hey, Kessler afraid of that third foul that just poised under fire at the rim. First six points of the half to Miami. Back up to seven. KD Johnson. Could have got a better shot there. Yeah, I agree. All trying to win it. It's long now on the attack. <laughs> oh, my goodness. How did he find that angle? He loves that one-handed quick release finish at the two. And back to matching now the largest lead of the game. Auburn 0 for 7 from the floor this half. There's where you need it. Give it up so easily. Casper and a reach in call coming against the Canes. I think Charlie Moore with the reach, maybe. Pretty impressive here, huh? I'm not sure how he got off right there. Great touch. Just around. And before Kessler could respond, great touch, great English, great finish. Love Kessler with that left hand trying to block it. Make sure it doesn't foul. Zepp Jasper. Transfer from College of Charleston. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Scan the QR code now and download. I noticed Jasper was an Augusta kid. I'm surprised he didn't ask you for a couple of ducats. <laughs> yeah, I'm right. Well, I wish I had him. <laughs> They're tough to come by. All perimeter guys can put pressure on you off the bounce. That's why they're tough to cover. Harry's going to shoot short. Johnson. Tough shot. Got it right over Miller. He is a confident player. He just missed that one earlier. Not a pass. Not a knockdown. Breaks a fourth minute and 15 second field goal drought. All right, back though. That's Miller again, like he did in the first half. Oh, he is playing well. Got 12. Known for his rebounding on the offensive glass in particular, gets around two a game. So 
sometimes teams forget who should get the ball. And Smith really not getting touches where he can hurt the opponent. That's Kessler reaching up and over and getting the rebound. Off the floor, Not the he's got a break. Here's Wardenberg with his first basket of the night. It's a big one. Uh, he had hurt that hand earlier. He was afraid to shoot the ball. And flexing the right hand all game long. What a look. We have Green. Answers quickly with the two. I'll tell you what, these Hurricanes are scrappy. And they play <laughs> loose, don't they? They sure do. There's Miller. Had a big night. Not that time. Uh, be more offensive minded, I think the coaches would like. Tenth rebound, by the way, for Smith, coming off a career high 14 on Friday against the Gamecocks of Jacksonville State. Tried to bounce it off McGusty, and he was wise to that. Numbers, McGusty. look at this, and one at the rim. Pull up. Oh. <laughs> big time dagger. Of four. Wow. Unbelievable. But he did have somebody at the rim. It, it didn't matter if no one was at the rim. He's going to shoot it. He's going to shoot that. Good point. Feed it outside. Johnson. That slurp keeps it. And right back. Jabari denied at first by Wardenberg. Pass over to Kessler. Can't find it, and it's staying this end. And how about big, bad Sam? Sam the man. Bad wrist and all. He's holding that hand, too. Too kind. So, yeah, it'll be Duke and Texas Tech in San Francisco in the Sweet 16 on Thursday. As you see, Wardenberg looking at that hand. It's been bothering him since the first half. Re-aggravated a moment ago, fellas. He's been playing hurt. You can just see here. His teammate, Charlie Moore, slapped him. Oh, man. You don't think it was the dunk? Combination. How about the block? Yeah, good have been. And now, Bruce Pearl going back to his bench. They were so effective. 20 points in the first half. Two for 13 to start this second half. Benching Kessler and Smith right now. And he said they want to beat him with their depth as well. Johnson driving in and scoops it up and in. Not a this kid is not afraid. I like that. Not, hard. not settling, attacking. He's hit a three, and then the driving basket. He gets his confidence going. It could be a game changer. Tighten it up. Might be able to get to the rim. You don't have the shot blocker in the back. Miller got a size advantage here. Nice hand. KD Johnson takes it away. And it belongs to Auburn. And Miller has the size advantage, as you said, Jim. You don't want to spin out to a fadeaway. Back down, Johnson. Get to the paint. Use your size advantage to your advantage. Here's Williams, had a big first half. Gets the follow-up to go. I hate this kid, as you noted. Start, not getting minutes, came back fresh, ready to go, contributing any way he can. From behind, they almost got to Moore. It's Walker, and now Miller coming back out to pass to Gusty. One arm shot, one hand shot. Back to him, where they are feisty on the glass. Look at Moore, final lane. <laughs> wow. Kissed it big time on the forehead. This is what they've been doing, Raph, all season long. Going small, getting out rebounded, but finding a way to make the plays. And that's going to Miami. Crappy hustling. And Moore made that play. Wuga Poplar coming in. It's like Coach Larinaga. The way they move around, looks like times like Miami has six, seven, eight guys out there. Just incredible effort, active hands, active feet. This is Miami basketball at its best. A, a lot to not, you know you're not coming out. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're playing loose. There's an incredible freedom out there on that offensive end. Spread the floor, right. 
Moore. Here comes Wong. Likes to attack. No call. Oh, he got hurt too. Carmel got hurt. Now he's back. Green. Lanigan. Pump fake. Drive in. And again. Miami scrappy underneath. Carmel's hurt. He got hit in the mouth. Leading. Wong. Off the glass. He is a one man show of energy. Gets down the floor. Carmel took a hit. They're going to take a look at him. But this is just a wonderful leak out. And the strength around the rim. So impressive. They're just so hard to play against, so hard to guard. They come at you in waves. They got multiple guys that can create off the bounce. And they're tough. And they beat Duke at home, right? Well, you would bring that up. No, no. <laughs> no but I mean, they're not afraid of the moment, no, is what I'm saying. They, not they, at all. They, they did lose to Duke in the tournament semifinal, yeah. but what they did in the regular season against the four North Carolina conference schools, beating Wake twice. North Carolina, North Carolina State, and Duke. They were 5-0 and against, against the North Carolina teams in regular season play. And they got their biggest lead now, double digits for the first time. Automatic switch has missed. And they switch back now. Green. Tough shot, circles out. Smith can't convert again. He can't believe it, holding his head. Disbelief. Two for 13 from the floor. Laranega and the Hurricanes trying to knock out a two here in round two. Time to take a look at the Capital One rewarding performance. And it's all Isaiah Wong basically scoring at will, getting into the paint where he's so effective, finishing strong, not afraid, great touch. Just a natural score, an incredible one-on-one -on -one player. He's had nine 20-point games this season and not too far away from another. You know what jumps out at you? Nobody in the center spot. They've got plenty of room to drive and roam and take advantage. And they got to get their bigs going here. And Jim, you were mentioning in commercial, Smith missed a bunch of them at the rim. I mean, right around the basket, two for 13. 0 for 5 deep. 0 for 1 at the line. You know it can just turn in a second, though. I haven't seen it so far, but you begin to press. At times it looked on his face as though I can't believe what's happening. He's got to get after it, though. Too good to stay quiet. Just one out of two. Miami almost flawless. 28 minutes plus into the game. Three turnovers, six total fouls in the game. What a clean performance. Wong with a jumper. Good rebound by Smith. He's in traffic. 13th rebound. And although he has struggled, he's still committed to playing defense, finding other ways to add value, but his value might be the best on the offensive end if he can be more aggressive. And as you said, attack, don't settle, get into the paint, use your size, your length, show why you're projected to possibly be a top pick. And this is why the guards have to get it to him. Uh, when he's in a vulnerable spot. Johnson. What's all the two guards trying to win it by themselves? Driving in, powering in. Big time move by KD Johnson. He is an aggressive player. He's the emotional leader for this team. Got seven of his nine in the second half. A man of many faces. Dusty comes off around the screen. Well, he's got even Sam can't even look for a shot with that hand. Moore with six to shoot. Nice pass. pass. Finds right underneath Walker. That defense was terrible. How's an entry pass get there? Without not in the stance, not in the denial, not cheating. Walker down with four points off the bench. Johnson again. That's stuck. That stuck ball on the floor. It's Johnson. He wants to win it by himself. He'll give you an effort. Well, he saw Jabari Smith on that last play. Came over on the weak side and just more dancing. Eyes up. 
Great flash. <laughs> Beautiful pass. Terrible D, though. Wouldn't you agree? You know, we get his stance. <laughs> so, KD Johnson at the line to shoot two. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar, the best Coke ever, like the GOAT. Is this fact check? Well, you can debate the GOATness. The Johnson leaves it out there as you see Kessler back on the floor. A little full court pressure, haven't done this. It outside, Wardenberg. There it is. The hand, the hand feeling better. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Quick think, recovery. Didn't think he was capable of that with no. what you saw earlier with the hand. <laughs> Miami's been doing it without hitting threes in the tournament. Now just four out of 27, and stolen away by Miller. Numbers. Poplar. McGusty inside. Oh, up here. Quicker by a step or two. 13 in front. And a double team near midcourt. Smith to Flanagan, sails in, and gets the basket to go. Real smart at an angle. That was Handle a little pressure pretty good. That was a huge play right there. Yeah. Almost a turnover there at half court. Could have been another two for Miami. Very close right there. Never touched it though. Nice give here by Smith. And you had mentioned he's really doing a lot of things other than, you know, putting a lot of pressure on him on, with his offense. Wong back in, Poplar out. They don't get much of a rest on this Miami team, do they? They're used to playing the, the starters about 38 minutes apiece. Uh, they don't look tired at all. No. all. You're right, all in the middle 30s. Three point play by Flanagan. Miller to McDusty. They don't take bad shots either, Grant. Four now with Kessler coming outside. And they want to clear. With seven to shoot. Lunchtime. Off the dog. Here he goes in on Kessler. Kessler won. Flanagan, fresh off a three-point play. Well, there's Kessler. Well, they don't give it to him much down in that box, do they? His only points of the game, Kessler, two free throws, 0 for 6. He and Smith combined, both All-Americas. Smith second team, Kessler third team, 2 for 19. And again, from the logo. <laughs> Kessler comes outside to Moore. Nice give. Up ahead to Wong, and Miami back in front by 12. I was looking for a little showtime there at the end of that break. They scrap, they hustle, they run selfish. He spoiled us with that dunk in the first half. Yeah, he did. 19 for Wong. Look at this kid. Moore's got, a, uh, got him again. Oh, he let him too much. Right now, fast break points. 22 to nothing. Would have been 24. <laughs> Coach L smiling as he should. Duke over Michigan State and what was tight throughout. That nine-point margin. A little misleading. The Spartans, Tom Izzo. Had them coached up. They were five up with five to go. And then Duke rallied. Second team from the ACC just uh, knocked out a short while ago. Notre Dame joining Virginia Tech on the sideline. You got North Carolina in the Sweet 16. What a late season run by the Tar Heels. And all year long, people are denigrating the league, basically. Right. So, well, they're, they're good teams. Uh, maybe they didn't have November, December big time victories for the net. Miami trying to become yet another ACC team into the Sweet 16. Flanagan. Wardenberg really doing a nice job on Kessler. Green kicks it back out to Jasper. It's way short. How about this defense? Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Nothing. Miller 
and company. And take it away. Nice back cut because they move Kessler out. McCosty hits it down under on the assist from Wong. Boy, Jordan Miller has done so many great things. There's Green. Kessler trying to tap it out. Smith passes corner. Green all time. All kinds of time. They needed it. Can't shake this team, so many handlers. And now they need to get some stops here on the defensive end. It's gonna be, have to be half court, though. You press, and uh, they will just break you down. You're right, they keep Kessler up top, not at the rim where he likes to hover. McGusty, one bounce and a three. Could have got a better shot that yeah. possession. Chance to get it to single digits. Down 14 a short. Wadley will reach in on Miller. And that might be the one mistake Miller's made out here defensively. Barry Smith going into his three point shot. Fouling him on that. Not ideal. And that's just the sixth team foul. And making the free throws lets you change the defense a little bit. I've not seen that pressure where they trap in the corner. I haven't seen Jabari Smith get the ball and attack off the bounce. Everything is all. off the catch where he struggled. Two for Jabari Smith. After all the games are over, Nabil Kareem and Seth Davis, Rex Chapman, Bob Huggins, Candace Parker have all the highlights and analysis on Inside March Madness presented by Buick. That's later tonight, only on TBS. Foul while shooting three, and three subs are coming in for Coach Pearl. I think this is a, a strategic move. Uh, Kessler really out of his element playing that far out of the basket. They can't get after people. Two out of three. There they go. Big on the ball. Take away vision. Tough team to press. Team that has seldom turned it over in the two games. Everybody's a handler. Everybody can put it on the deck. Help one another. Gordon Bird back to Wong. Running it down to six minutes. With six to shoot. Oh, don't leave the ball. Tough shot. And soaring in for the rebound. I don't think it was a foul. I don't think so either. Sam was in the area. He may have tripped over his own man. I think Johnson might have bumped into yeah. him there. Cambridge hit the deck. He'll be shooting one and one. Great contest by Green on that jump shot. I couldn't tell right yeah. there. It looked like Johnson might have pulled Wardenberg. Got him with the leg. Wardenberg got him with the leg, definitely, but. Johnson pulled Wardenberg on that miss basket, and I think it caused Wardenberg to be off balance and maybe kick his leg up. At least that's what it looked like. Cambridge, who was a starter at the beginning of the year when Flanagan was out, trying to mend that surgically repaired Achilles. They call him Red, an acronym for rebounding, energy, and defense. Well, they're down nine. They're on red alert right now. <laughs> one and one. <laughs> they really sure are. We just can't get it going on this end of the floor and stop at the other. Play small. Play your own. Recognize what they're running. Be in the right spot. Two big three throws. No, just one of two. But the 14-point deficit is down to eight. Auburn scoring the last six. No hurry. He's a lot of clock in the last couple of trips. And you can get down to a short clock when you have guys who can go get a basket like Miami. The gusty. Like and this. Shooting. Like that. Wow, big time move. Plays with exudes confidence. With a former Oklahoma Sooner who actually crossed over a year with Trey Young. They were roommates in Norman, Oklahoma. 
Uh, what was he telling us about one of the NCAs he went to? That's an attack. Look at Johnson. That's where he's been effective, not settling, yeah. attacking, getting to the paint. You can't rush these guys, though. Too many handlers. A run and jump. With that open middle, puts a lot of pressure on individual D. Like oh. that. Nice box. Big time play. Smith. And they cash in. Green. Not on balance. Sliding with the three and off the floor. Double the head. Hold oh. on. Great survey. Oh. And that is what a block by KD Johnson. It never gives up. Auburn fighting for its life as Green. Oh, shit. Unable to convert. Now come the Hurricanes on the run. Uh, more. Pull back, and finally, Let's someone see. hits. And what do they say? Fast beats big when fast is fast. <laughs> <laughs> that whole sequence right there, huge, which is four and change to go. It's smart, too. See how he stopped with the traffic? Robert had two Nobody. trips and two close looks to get it to six. And now that. I think you're right, Jim. That was a big exchange right there. Missed opportunity for Auburn. A lot of experience on that floor for Miami. You can see why they won so many close games all year long. Starting five on the floor, averaging over 23 years old. Wardenberg's hit one, not this one. Bounces out. Well, that hand made a recovery. He wasn't even looking for shots for a while. Great training staff over there. Williams, short. Well, not really some desperate shots by the Tigers. Johnson the last time, and then Williams on that occasion. Right now it looks like Auburn might be a little fatigued. I think everybody. Nobody underneath. Wardenberg! I think mentally fatigued as well as Auburn. Physically. Timeout coming for the Tigers. Wardenberg with seven points in the second half. Miami has had the two seed Auburn and shot from the start. Seniors, six years, savvy, and trying to get on to the Sweet 16. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament on NCAA.com. Both Miami basketball programs in the state of South Carolina today, as you see the Hurricanes leading Auburn 70 to 58. The women's team from Miami played a one seed this afternoon, 100 miles down the road in the state capital city of Columbia, and lost to South Carolina, 49-33. But a great season for their squad. But here, the men's team up by 12. Really, their ability to neutralize the bigs of Auburn. Kessler, Jamari Smith combined two for 19 from the field. Kessler only two rebounds. None on the defensive end. I am shocked. I did not see that coming. And they have just sliced them up with the ability to dribble it and selfish play. That is Smith. We saw a lot of those, didn't we? Flanagan, in the right spot. And again, they miss one right underneath the basket. Got the lid on that basket for Auburn. I've never seen anything like it. Unbelievable. It's so bad. Tell more with that rebound. That's number eight for the little guy. Miami, they're getting close. They can almost taste it. The sweet taste of the Sweet 16. Watch CBS Sports HQ for the best coverage of the big dance. Tournament highlights, picks, previews, recaps. The 24-7 free sports news network. Download the CBS Sports app and watch today. The Sweet 16 beginning Thursday with the Nissan NCAA tip-off on TBS at 6 p.m. followed by doubleheaders on CBS and TBS. There's Barry Collier, great coach back in his day, now the athletics director at Butler, and he's on the NCAA men's basketball committee. He made a statement about that guy right there, Jim Laranega, when he took George Mason to the Final Four back in 06. It was Collier who said to Jim, he said, you just broke the four-minute mile. You showed us how to do it for the mid-majors. The first mid-major to get to the Final Four in 27 years. VCU after Butler twice. A little giveaway here. 
That was 06 when Laranega took that George Mason team. And what a run they had, the teams they beat to, to get there. Raf, you got to see them through the through the regionals in Washington. Right. Well, great run, no question about it. Amazing. Of course, Barry was at Nebraska, too. He was. Heck of a coach. Wong doubled up. A timeout. Timeout with 2.29 to go. We're talking about what Coach L did at George Mason. Now look what he's doing at Miami, trying to get it back to the Sweet 16. He took him there in 2016, before they lost to Villanova, the eventual national champions, in the regional semifinals that was contested up in Louisville. We were there to see that one. Mm -hmm. Here's a bounce pass to Wong, and Williams has hold of him. I'll tell you what, Coach L, as a player, you have to be excited to play in this style of basketball. I mean, just the positionless, up, really. powers them, exactly, positionless basketball. Let's him play loose because he's loose. That was just the fourth foul in the half on Auburn. Well, they can play keep away. Need to keep committing some of they're not going to get the steals and try to get them into the one on one, at least trying to wait to get the possession back. Also extend the game as best they can. Yes. Dusty now with the shot clock reset at 20. That's team foul six, and that's on Williams. So you take a team that at the beginning of the year you have one idea if you're Coach Laranega, what you're going to do, how your style is going to play out, and then you go into an early season tournament up in Orlando and you lose by 32 in one game, 16 in another, as McGusty takes it to the rim. And you realize, you know what? We've got to do things unconventional. We've got to go basically four guards and one big man. And that's what experience as a coach does. And uh, one of the few. Smith for the first yeah. time, Raph. It's a three tonight. Just his third bucket. Not too many clean looks either. They've gone over three minutes without a hoop. Gusty now fouled on the outside. And all that scrambling. The out of bounder is the most dangerous guy. I mean, one and one for McGusty. Tell you, Grant, you lose by margins like that in a early season tournament. Double figures, one of them over 30. And now you think, what's looming? I gotta go in the ACC. You never believe they come out of it with a 14 and six conference record. And now, minute 51 perhaps from the Sweet 16. Brilliant coaching job from Coach L and the ability to adapt and adjust. Understanding, okay, we have to pivot, and pivot they have. Fantastic basketball, so hard to play against. It was flexible, you know, he was open minded. I'm sure they had staff discussions as to what to do differently. I'm out called by McCusty, so the quick double team closing in on him. 1.30 to go. Well, fellas, we talked about how Laranega and Miami have done this, having led throughout, but what happened to Auburn tonight? It's not the same team that we saw most of the year, a team that was ranked number one in the country for several weeks. What happened to Auburn? They were Don Nelson. Yeah? He was a guy that could make you switch your lineup in the old days with the Bucks, Make you play small, make you play big. And then you had Kessler having those two fouls early. They got totally out of sync. Smith settling for a lot of tough shots, but uh, this is a tough team to guard. And Flanagan will send more to the line for one and one. Still a minute and 26 to go. And it is incredible. You talked about this team, Auburn, and the regular season they had and the hot streak they were on, rated number one kind of tapered off there at the end of the season went into the tournament five five and four in their last nine games prior to the tournament they just found this Miami team it was too much too difficult and they struggled they, they lost to Texas A&M in the SEC tournament right another team that plays small ball and plays quick and fast as well well maybe a quick three could give them just a little faint heartbeat and that's a tough one there everything's challenged though 
And they are ready to play this team. They're like, they're like bees. They're just swarming all over the, <laughs> the basketball court. Well, I hope Charles kept his lunch money on this one. Oh, man. I mean, it had, you talk about Kessler, what happened all season with Kessler and Smith. This is just a complete foreign experience for, for Auburn. Tiger fans can't even recognize this tonight. Had a body experience. Yeah. I mean, had the look of a Final Four team. And again, you, you have the benefit, not taking it any way from Iowa State, but you got an 11 seed waiting for you. So, you know, as a two, you might have a great chance to make a deep run, but you got a 10 seed. Too pesky from the get go tonight. I think some of the Auburn guys had those glasses on trying to find the rim. So we had a chance to visit with Miami and just an impressive group. Respectful, great character. Katie Even. Johnson lost it. Yeah, they were fun to visit with. Oh, they were so much fun. There's Charlie Moore who well traveled and his travels will take him back to his hometown. He gets an assist. Gusty scores again. Got 20 now for the game. Teams will get along off the court. Usually get along on it. Another missed layup. Point blank at the rim for Auburn. It's been that kind of half. And it was Wardenberg who got the rebound, who sat out all of last year with a Liz Frank injury and served as basically an assistant coach. Now look at the tape, giving them scatter reports, but he gave that up this year. <laughs> How about Charlie Moore? Documented it the other day, but he had originally signed with Memphis. Did not end up going there when Josh Pastner went to Georgia Tech. But his travels would take him to Cal, Kansas, DePaul, now Miami. And now he's going to get to go. How about this? Fittingly, after all of that, that long journey, he's going back to his hometown. He's going to Chicago for the regional. He's a gamer. Why not? I think Morgan Park was his high school. He said it was yesterday that he was ready to go back with this team. Think about him. I think a season high tide of eight rebounds. Pretty impressive. Win it all. Yeah. Go tell the keeper. Jack Kerr was his high school coach. Such great respect for him. For so good a pal of Terry Holland as well. Nine rebounds. But Johnson doesn't give up. Miami's going to end up going wire to wire. Led by one at the half. They saw the Tigers inch back into it to get it to one from nine at the intermission. But then they go 15 to seven to start the second half and have not looked back. Bruce still coaching, though, out the floor. Trying to get some subs in from Miami guys who haven't seen the floor. They're not deep, but what they have is pretty darn good. I got to tell you, Moore almost with a uh, triple double tonight. You're talking about all those rebounds. 14 points, nine rebounds, eight assists, three steals. Whatever his team needs, hit those two big free throws against USC Friday and. Came back with a stellar performance here tonight. Little guy, but a big heart. Big leader for this club. And they are celebrated on that Miami bench, and rightfully so. Amazing experience for them Looking here in Greenville. Jimmy and Jimmy and Moore, that's a great look. How about coming in here in two tournament games? And they turn it over only seven times total in two games. Well, they got all those handlers, all are capable. And Jabari Smith walks off the floor, and his Auburn career, no doubt, it's uh, it's on to the next level for him. 15 rebounds tonight. He breaks the career high he set two days ago, but struggled shooting today. 10 points. Three out of 16 from the field. He's a talented kid. He'll do fine once he settles down. 
That's Gak with the block. That'll be a funny feeling for a Jabari, though. Right? If you're thinking it's your last game. Yeah. And you think you're coming here, you're going to win a national yeah. championship. Come, yeah, come out a little flat. Cook. It's the last shot off. And we have, by Miami, a little March magic for them. Going wire to wire. Pretty impressive. Barely turning it over in two games. Coach L gets a W. Yes, he does. He's got a lot of those. Uh, he reconstructed this program after some struggling times. Went to the portal, refreshed the program. They believed in him and vice versa. Here are the four teams heading to Chicago. Kansas, the one seed, will play Providence on Friday. Iowa State and Miami in the other Sweet 16 matchup. Wonderful, do a little dance for us. What do you think? A little Ollie shuffle. Yeah, hey. a few years ago. Had all those moves. Maybe he'll do what Kelvin Sampson did earlier today. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> get to the locker room. Take the shirt off and dance. Tracy, over to you. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you. That was some performance. You knock off USC, you knock off Arbor. Now talk about the quickness of your team and how it affected them from start to finish. Well, we started last summer putting in a new defense called the Scramble, and these guys did it to perfection today. Turnovers and fast break opportunities coming off our defense. So very, very proud of them. Very happy moment. How about for this team, especially coming off the season you had last year, to be able to take them back to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2016? Well, we are healthy. You know, we weren't healthy last year. We had six scholarship players most of the season. But now, with this guy quarterbacking us, did I call you Chris Ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He so, is for us, our Chris Ball. You had his number in your phone. You kept it. You called him. You got him on your team. This one's headed back to Chicago. Yeah, yeah. How does that sound? Oh, uh, Chicago. That sounds great. Yeah, we're going to Chicago, Coach. Sounds great. I'm happy. I'm just excited we got the win. You know, um, Auburn played hard. You know, it was a hard-fought game. You know, we just played together. You know, I'm just happy for the team. And just the confidence this team is playing with and having so much fun out there, too, and so unselfish. Yeah, man. I mean, all the hard work we put in, you know, all season, you know, um, come together. It's our first year together, really. You know, we, we build a, a bond, a special bond. You know, I love them guys to death. Yep. Guess what? The Hurricanes, the Cyclones, they're going to the Windy City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have fun in Chicago. Enjoy your hometown. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. That's a good one, Tracy. You got the Cyclones of Iowa State, the Hurricanes of Miami, and the Windy City is the host. How about Miami? How about Laranega? He knows how to get it done in March. Tune in to TNT and TBS now for live second round games for Raft and Grant Tracy, Chiefs Territory. Jim Nance saying so long from Greenville. We've been watching the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship on True TV. The Hurricanes to the Sweet 16.